Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite dental wear. I sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I'm trying to figure out where the little hole is, where the camera is on this dadgum thing. <laughs> sure hope everybody's doing okay today. I wanted to uh, discuss with you today about, um, I did a video nearly three years ago talking about how chewing gum can help you learn your bite. Um, something else it'll teach you is how to control that bottom denture. Wow, that, I'm, I'm so used to the camera being on the other corner over there. It'll teach you how to control the bottom denture if you want to go adhesive free. Obviously I don't use adhesive. So I found these these are awesome ice breakers or ice cubes and these are actually sugar free they're very good uh, they come in a, in a variety of flavors um, you just pop the top open and believe it or not one's enough <laughs> when I was a kid I used to eat two or three pieces of gum at a time and with dentures, you can't do, really do that. It, it fills your mouth up too much. So, just one piece of gum. And... Initially, chewing it is no different than putting any other food in your mouth. Very good, very sweet. Sorry, I have to get the initial. Your mouth instantly salivates. And you have to start swallowing. My coffee over here. One of the things that will teach you with your bite. Now, chewing gum can do a couple of things. One, it can teach you where to chew. For example, if I chew too far back, my bottom denture rocks up. I have a sweet spot for chewing on this side, and it's right there. See? No movement of the denture. I have a sweet spot on this side, and it's all the way back. See? No movement of the denture. So, when I chew on this side, I chew closer to the front. When I chew on this side, I chew further to the back. So, it'll teach you your sweet spots for chewing if you want to chew on one side or the other instead of both. The other thing it can do is teach you to control your bite. Now, I've tried to show, I keep my tongue on the bottom of the denture, spread out. That helps hold the denture down when I bite. But, I talked about pushing on your food, using your thumb to push on your bottom denture, which I don't have to do anymore. I've learned how to control it with the lip. Now... I press my lip against my teeth when I bite, like that, see? And what that does, it puts pressure on the lip, on the teeth, and then as you bite, Puts pressure on the teeth, and as you bite, you can let your lips slide down, and the food will keep pressure on your teeth. So, if you're eating something, right? So, here's the thing. 
I know this looks funny. Using my teeth or my lip. A whole denture in place. But if I have a sandwich in front of my face, you can't see that. If you got food in front of your face, nobody's going to see your bottom lip tense up against your bottom jaw. They're not going to see it. I know we look at ourselves and we go, oh, man, you know, I look silly that way. Nobody can see that. <laughs> Nobody can see it. Chicken leg. You know, you're eating a drumstick. Corn on a cob. Ribs. They can't see your bottom lip. <laughs> Practicing with gum and using that bottom lip to keep those teeth in place will teach you how to bite. It really will. Not only that, it teaches you to keep your teeth lined up. Muscle memory. I think that's one of the reasons I got so good at biting was because I chewed gum. And I didn't just chew it on the side, you know. I didn't do that. <laughs> I did a lot of chewing in the front. Keeping those teeth lined up. Slicing like a pair of scissors. The more you do that, no more muscle memory you build up. Remember, it's got to be sugar-free gum. Now, I have found that Trident kind of, after a few minutes, starts sticking. I don't know why that is. But these ice cubes... I've been chewing on them for two days now. I have yet to have it stick to my dentures. So, I don't know. I think they put some... Oh, another trick to that. Um, you can learn. When you're chewing gum, your teeth don't have to come together. You just kind of... Mash it and move it around. So kind of mash it a little bit, move it, mash it a little bit, move it, mash it a little bit, move it, mash it a little bit. You know, your teeth don't have to come together. So that'll teach you how to chew properly. Everybody thinks their teeth have to completely come together to chew. They don't. All you want to do is break up the food. When you hit a rock with a hammer and it breaks and you hit it again and it breaks again and you hit it again and it breaks again you're not hitting it and going all the way through to the dirt so the hammer and the dirt come together you don't have to do that with your teeth either it'll break up the food without smashing your teeth together I think that's why another reason a lot of people are having so much tenderness when they're trying to eat and why they stay sore for so long when they first get their dentures is because they're trying to smash their teeth completely together to chew food. You don't have to. Now, one thing you can do with gum is you can smash it flat between your teeth. all the way together and what that'll do it'll create suction on these teeth and when you lift your jaw I've got so used to muscle controlling my bottom denture I can't do it uh, you'll notice there we go it'll try to lift your denture when you see Huh. 
because the gum gets down in those little holes in your teeth and it creates suction. So another way to learn the muscle control with the lips and the cheek and everything else is bite it all the way down and then separate it. What that does, it teaches you how to control that bottom denture and keep it down with your tongue and with your cheeks and your lips. I don't know if this video is going to help you. I hope it does. I wanted to share. I think it's a good idea. If you only do it in the front. I have so much control now. I don't have to press my lip. This whole bottom section of my lip is extremely strong now. So it supports that denture. You can do it in the front without opening your mouth. And just practice that bite. You're building up muscle memory. The more you do that, the more your jaw gets used to the position it needs to be in. Just like that. Right in the front. The more you do it, the more your jaw gets used to it. The more you train yourself to keep your jaw back in that biting position when you bite. Hope this helps. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and never give up. There's an off button here somewhere.